Hey guys, it's CJ from SmartKTAT.com. We already unboxed the Verizon Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and the HTC Droid DNA. Don't forget to check out those videos if you haven't yet. In this video, I'm going to benchmark both smartphones, but I'll keep it nice and short with just a run through with the popular Quadrant benchmarking utility. However, for those who want even more detailed results, I'll also be testing various areas of each device using a handful of other benchmarking apps and posting those results on SmartKTAT.com. If you're interested, the link will be in the description below. I actually found the results to be fascinating, kind of a mixed bag, so to speak. Sometimes the Droid DNA clearly outperformed, and sometimes the Galaxy Note 2 won, and sometimes they nearly tied. So let's get started here with Quadrant. And they're off to the races. So as a reminder, the Galaxy Note 2 features a 5.5 inch 720p HD Super AMOLED display, a Samsung Exynos 4412 1.6 GHz quad-core processor and 2 GB of RAM. The Droid DNA features a 5-inch 1080p Full HD Super LCD 3 display, a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro 1.5 GHz quad-core processor and 2 GB of RAM. Looks like we're approaching the end here. We've got our planets. And that should be it. So as you can see, the Droid DNA slightly outperformed, uh, well, I guess I should say it uh, greatly outperformed the Galaxy Note 2 and Quadrant, but both devices are superb, as you can see, against the competition. Here's the HTC One X over here, and then you have the Galaxy Note 2 up there, as well as the uh, Droid DNA. So if we zoom in on that, you can see that the Droid DNA actually scored uh, 8,123. Put that back down. The Galaxy Note 2 scored 6,467. So that about does it for this video. Again, if you want to see more benchmark results from other apps like Antutu, CFBench, SmartBench 2012, Vilamo, the Multitouch test, and even Verizon 4G LTE speed test, then be sure to hit the link in the description below. That'll lead you to smartktai.com where I've posted all the other results. Stay tuned for the next video in which we'll be covering gaming performance. I'm sure most of you have been looking forward to that as I cover many games on this channel and these two devices certainly can handle some powerful gaming. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.